Hey guys, my name is Mike Carter. I'm going to demonstrate the if function in Excel. Um, this one is a little bit tricky, but I'm going to try to make it simple by using a heads or tails scenario to predict two outcomes. That's coming up. Alright, so we're going to use the if function to determine the result of our heads or tails game. Now we're going to pretend that we're heads, so we're going to determine whether we've won or lost in this column. So this is our result based on these two cell heads or tails. So the function is a logical function that returns one value if a condition is true and returns a different value if the condition is false. So that's either one or the other. So if it's not the first one, it has to be the second one, which works perfectly with heads or tails because if it's not heads, it has to be tails. There's no third option. So we'll start typing in our if function. So equals if bracket. Now go to your status bar, click here, in between the equals and the bracket and then click on the insert function and it brings up your if function dialog box. For me this is a lot easier to work with than writing out the formula in here. So it sort of breaks down the logical test, the value if it's true, that test is true, and the value if that test is false. So here's our test. Um, and you can do it vice versa if you like, but because we're heads we want to figure out what, um, what happens when we win. So the logical test is if this is bigger, or we type in a 1 here, it, if that comes up as 1 and this is a 0, so if B3 is bigger than C3, so that's our condition. So if we want to see if, okay, if, if, if that has a 1 in it and that has nothing, then we win. And when you're using text, you have to put quotations around the text. When you're using the if function, now if it was a number you wouldn't have to do that, or a cell reference. But because we're actually want, we want the results to have words that come up, um, we have to put quotations around those words. Just like in the false statement, we're going to type in lose because we want to see if we won or lost. Okay, so that's how we use the if function to calculate the results for us. So now that we've got our logical test, our logical test basically yeah tests whether a condition is either true or false. So based on this condition, it can be true or false. Sometimes the C3 might be bigger than B3, or B3 could be bigger than C3, but there's no third option. So, um, And our true statement would be win, our false statement would be loss. And if someone was tails, they would just do it in reverse, where they would say C3 is bigger than B3, and the value true would win, and loss again. So let's test it out. So let's say on the first one we win, and then we get tails, heads, tails, Heads, it should be about 50-50, so we'll, we'll uh, use the fill handle and we'll drag our formula all the way down to calculate the results for us. And see how much time that saved, just calculating the results for you. So that's how we use the if function to calculate the results in a heads or tails game. So I hope that made sense uh, and helped you better understand the if function in Excel. The if function is really the base for all logical functions, so we'll get to that in further videos. And I want to thank you for watching. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe for more tutorials like this one. 